All right, here's a quick one. I'm going to show you how to use rulers and guidelines in Photoshop. Centering will help us make our designs look a lot more professional and cut and clean. Uh, we can assure that one line will be centered above another line or a graphic and everything looks good. So to get rulers, I'm going to go to the view menu up top and simply click on rulers. Now we have rulers on the top and left hand side of my work area in Photoshop. I can see that my project is 11 inches wide and it is 8.5 tall. So now I want to bring in guidelines. If I click inside the ruler, not above it, not below it, but inside and drag down, a line will come down and it shows us the Y axis of where it is from 0 to 8.5. So half of 8.5 is four and a quarter so I'm going to bring it to four and a quarter and it will kind of snap to that point so the same thing I'm going to go to the left side and bring in from the left and go to five and a half now that is the center of my layout next I'm going to take the move tool and go layer by layer our designs should snap to the center I can now take my text move it over as well, it snapped to the center area right there and you'll feel it when you move your mouse, hold down the mouse button, move your stuff around, it will just kinda click there, it will snap in and be pretty darn good. If I want to double check I could hit show transform controls when I'm on the move tool I can click on that and now it shows me in the center here in the center of my layer there's a little plus sign so I want to get that lined up with my center line I could use my keyboard now it turned red the little tiny dots I could use my keyboard to move my layer up down left and right in, in case the mouse is not getting it where I need it to be so that's centered there I'll take my Titan head my Titan head was off by just a hair now we can see it's red on the line up and down and left and right. When we click on show transform controls as well we could actually scale our picture from here instead of going to edit transform scale. So this is kind of a shortcut I didn't want to show you right away but now we've uh, done enough where we can click on this and be able to change our size really fast. Some people like to keep show transform controls on all the time others prefer to take it off and that's going to be your preference.